here with Frankie, the key child puppy, and today he's going to learn his down command on the e-collar officially. Now over the past few days, I've been teaching Frankie the down position, which is to lay flat, no fidgeting, no rolling over on your back to get belly scratches, which is what Frankie does very often. Don't you? <laughs> so I've been using food to teach him the position, and now we're going to use the e-collar to layer in pressure and teach him how to turn the pressure off. So what I'm going to do, the pattern that I'll use at first, is pressure on, held, then I'll say the word down, nice and loud. Then if he still needs help, I'll give him a hand signal like this. If he still really needs help, I'll use his leash, put a little bit of pressure down, very nice. He's been taught to follow pressure uh, on the leash very nicely. And then when he's down finally, pressure goes away and I praise calmly. You don't want to praise in an excited way when you're teaching down or place or sit or any of these stationary commands because you want the dog to carry a certain amount of calmness around the command. How you teach a command or a trick, the energy you bring to that is how the dog is going to feel about that command in the future. So if you teach down or place in a nice calm way and you praise it that way, the dog will be calm in the future when they do that command. Right baby? Alright Frank. So first I'll show you how I've been luring him with treats and using the food to reward him for that. Good boy. Break. Very nice. In the beginning, I would have a treat in my hand. Frankie knew that. I'd show him the food. I would say down first. Down. I would take the food. Good. And take it all the way down between his front legs. Good job. Good. And then I'd tell him, break. Good job. And then I would move to not, not boring him anymore, but having the food ready in my other hand. Same pattern. Down. Good, and then rewarding. And now we're going to move to e-collar pressure. It's going to get really reliable off-leash no matter where he is and whether or not you have food. I still like to reward them time to time when they do a good rep, uh, but it's no longer a bribe. It's just a reward for a good choice. Right? Good job. Training's all about communication, either saying yes or no to whatever choice they make. I think that yes is really important, right? Break! Good job. Hi, Frank. Here's Frankie's first e-collar rep. So I'll have him sit. Good! I'm going to hold pressure first, then say down. Pressure on. Down. Good! Pressure off as soon as his elbows hit the ground. Then I praise calmly. Very good. Now if my praise becomes more high-pitched or excited, he's going to roll on his back. I just know he will. Or he'll break the command, which we don't want. This is a good choice for him. Good boy, Frank. Really hard for a young puppy who likes to move a lot. Good boy, Frankie. Break. Very nice. You are such a smart puppy. Good job. Oh, look at that drumstick. You're so sweet. Now I can start from a stand or a sit. If I stop moving, he's naturally going to sit because that's what we trained him to do. So we'll start from a sit. Good job, I know it's hard work. So again, pressure on. <laughs> he beat me to it. I'm not going to reward that, I'm going to ignore it, and then break him. Break! Good job! Hey! Hi! Come here! What you doing? Sit! Good! Good job! So pressure on. Down! Good boy! Good! Good! And now I'm going to do a rep where I add some distractions by walking around him. If he gets up, I'll tell him an O in a nice loud voice, but not angry or frustrated. Pressure on, put him back down. I like to add distractions like this from the very beginning. Good. I'm going to reward that, actually. Good. Good job. This will really help deepen the dog's understanding. They do need to make mistakes in the beginning. He does need to have a few reps where he does make the mistake and get up early. So he can learn to put himself back in that position. Very good. But for now, I want to set him up for success and release him before he makes that mistake. Frankie. Break. Very nice. You also notice when I say his name, Frankie, I want eye contact. I don't want him to assume that I'm releasing him. Good boy. So well with that pattern where it's pressure on first, and then down, and then the hand, and then the leash, uh, we're going to move right on to the next step, which is going to be the word first, and then pressure if he needs it. Uh, I'm going to try tapping instead of holding pressure this time. I think that he understands the connection between if I feel the pressure and I follow through with the command, I get praise and the pressure goes away. So we're gonna try just tapping. Very good job. Very good. 
Again, more distractions. Walking and jiggling the leash, maybe stepping over him. Good boy. I'm gonna praise him, reward him. Good job. He loves these treats. It's a uh, freeze-dried beef liver. Mm. Frankie, good. You're so good. Break. Very nice. Very nice. Good boy. Silly puff. You silly good boy. Now, just like with place uh, or sit or any other command. Ta-da. Good boy. We're not going to do rep and then break and then rep and then break over and over again. We're going to do a rep, let him sit there for a while, and then release him, have some quality time, and then do another rep. It's not going to be just back to back to back commands. Good boy. That will build anticipation, and it's also not very fun for either of you. Training should be a little bit fun. Don't you think? Break. Very nice. You're so cute. Breakers. Hi. So now I'm gonna go right from down first. Down. No pressure needed. Didn't even touch this. Good. I should, I should have marked you. Good job. Good job. I'm gonna really reward that one. We start with the pressure first in the beginning because we want the dog to really understand that the e-collar is relevant in this conversation. Good. Break. Well done, you smart boy. <laughs> Very nice. Touch standing. Down. Good job. I tapped there, he was already going down. I'm gonna praise that, good boy. And our numbers are very low, we're still at a four, he's just feeling that. You go with whatever number your dog tells you that they're feeling, which could be way higher. Very nice. Pay attention to my tone. When I'm praising, it's high-pitched and happy. When I'm saying N-O, it's much deeper and booming, but not frustrated or angry. And when I'm giving a command, it's also booming and nice and authoritative. Good job, but fair. Good boy. Dogs don't speak English, but they do understand tone very well. Right, you're doing so good. Break. Break is also bright and happy. You can move around. Break! Yay! Yay! I know, you're such a good dog. Alright, breakers. Down! No pressure there. Great job. Great job. And he's actually really trying hard to hold himself from rolling over on his back, because that's his default thing. I'll show you on break. Break! Good job. If you start scratching him, the roll over on his back for his belly rub. He's very cute. But we don't want that when we're training. Good boy. So when you do that, during our down session earlier when you're teaching him with food, I would simply interrupt. I would say, whoops. Use the leash and get him back in the right position, which is this right here. Beautiful. I didn't ask for this down. I'm going to praise it gently. Good job. And then release him from it. Even though I didn't put him in that down, I'm still going to release him. So he learns he can't just get up whenever. Break. Break. Good job. I'm getting tired, huh? So again. Good. Down. Good job. No pressure there. Very nice. Very good boy. And now what I'll do, I'll leave him here for maybe a minute or so. I'll check my emails, look at Facebook and hold him to this down. We want him to understand that when he's in a down, he might be here for a while. So get comfortable, settle in. No fidgeting, no complaining. Good boy. Very good. He's a very smart puppy. Good job. <laughs>